Hello everybody and welcome back to another week with me. I am actually going to show you where I am going to place all of those things that I got at the antique stores in Arlington, Washington. I've been too busy to even think about it and so they're still all in the bag. I haven't even taken it out of the bag yet. It's been a few days since I got back but I have been in editing land. I actually am piecing together their wedding video and yes, I did two jobs. I did the makeup and I also filmed and am editing the wedding video for them. I am a Jill of all trades. I definitely have this like makeup and editing thing just kind of coinciding, which is really great because if you think about it, bridal season isn't year round. So I need something to fill all that time or else I can't do either. They have to be able to work together, if that makes sense. Uh, anyway, this is just me thinking out loud. But let's let's go ahead and uh, get everything out. I was thinking Q-tips would be cute in here, and I have a huge container of Q-tips. So let me, I'm just gonna spray everything down with alcohol. The mirror obviously is gonna go right here on the vanity, probably like so. For the compact, I have a ongoing kind of compact collection. I need to get little stands so that they can stay up like that. But for now, we'll do that because I have these guys too, my little vintage compacts. Love. I just want to fill this whole thing with vintage collectibles that are cosmetic related. So eventually this should all be switched out. It'd be cool to get some lipsticks to put here that are vintage. But um, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep trying to look for those when I'm out and about. Once you start a collection, it's something you can look for and focus on trying to find out and about. And that's what is so great about having a collection is slowly sourcing everything and finding everything over time. I don't have to fill this all at once. The, mo the fun is gonna be in the hunt. But then, so we have that. I just cleaned this out. So I'm gonna fill it with Q-tips. Check it out. And then maybe, you know, room for something else to go here. Not sure what, but I've had this old tissue box thing for the longest time and it looks really good next to it because they're that same kind of gold look. Is it weird to put silver here? Like what if I did my bud vase back there? just because that throws off the balance. And this needs balance, so that I think I like. It smells like roses, I mean, duh, but it like I'm surprised at how rosy that smells. But that's wonderful. Now I have a little beauty station for my brushes and such and my new mirror. So this is currently where I have my Avon, very small collection of Avon. And you've got a, it's like a weight you've got. A, balance it perfectly so that the shelf stays in place but that's great i have room for that so there's my avon perfume bottle collection so far love it i've actually now started to put all of my upcycling projects that i need to get to in my little fabric dresser right there that's where i've been putting everything so that i know where it is <laughs> when i need to project it because I feel like I just throw it back in my closet and then I forget what project I'm supposed to be doing. I get overwhelmed because I do always have a backlog of things that need fixed. Something I think would be fun to upcycle is this dress that I got thrifting when I was in Grants Pass, Oregon. I think this dress could be super cute as, you guessed it, a shorter dress. Some sort of neat detail to put across the bottom. I bought tons of new trim. But I'll be honest, I don't know that any of the trim that I currently have is what I would want for this. I don't know what I want for this, but I feel like if I went to the fabric store and looked for the right option, something could speak to me. Uh, so that is the upcycle I want to work on this week. So this is where I have all of my excess trim. I still have some of this left, which I've used quite a bit. This is my favorite trim that I had. But I don't think that would fit around it. But if it if it is what I like, I could go get more of it because I think they still have this. Now I don't think this goes. This is like silvery, shiny fabric, and this is matte like that at the bottom. 
Mm, I don't think so. That's kind of good though because I'm kind of sick of using this on everything. <laughs> I feel like all I do when I upcycle stuff is cut it short and add that. <laughs> the same thing over and over again, Sienna. This would be the other one. I'm still not feeling it. Okay, okay. Then we have a new one that I've recently purchased, which is very similar <laughs> to the first one I was showing you. Uh, it's getting closer, but still no cigar. Close, but no cigar. Where does that phrase come from? Man, that is an old term. <laughs> you know what I'm almost thinking too? What if I didn't do a trim? What if I just cut it? Okay, I have the dress on. I don't have a bra on, apologies. Ugh, it has pockets. Here's what I started to think when I have it on now. What if I shortened it? and added like a fun, foofy tulle skirt underneath. Love the sleeves and all the detail around this dress. It's just fun. It's a fun dress. Okay. Oops, I moved it. Don't move it mid-cut. Throw off your cutter, your cut line. think I want to save this I'm gonna make a little belt okay well it's hella crooked obviously got to come in and cut the side I think that's when I moved it dang it I accidentally like slid it up a little bit so I need to go fix that but I do like the length of it so just pretend it's here apologies for my resistance to putting on a bra today I refuse but wouldn't it be cute with this little belt around it like this is the fabric wrapped around itself love that I have pockets this has potential to be a really adorable upcycle I'm getting excited. I really think that cutting it and trying it on is giving me a better idea of what I want to do to the dress. So tomorrow we're going to pick this back up and get it started. Basically, I mean, I kind of did. I just needed to cut the length to envision what I want to do. You know what I mean? I'm going to get back to work though. I got to get on my computer and edit a wedding. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just now getting up and going. I still have on my PJs. This is that nightgown that I got in Grant's Pass. It is, oh my gosh, like I feel like a ghost haunting my own house. It's so nice and it's the best for like someone who tosses and turns. If you toss and turn, might I suggest getting yourself a really silky nightgown because they just move with you. Sometimes you can get a little twisted up in them if you really toss and turn, but I've got it down to a uh, science. But let's talk about today. So what we're gonna do today with the project, I knew I needed to sleep on it. I knew I needed some time and I did come up with the idea that I wanted. I knew it. I knew if I laid there and just really brainstormed, I can think of it. I was thinking about all different types of trims and I was placing them all on the dress in my head, like dangling trim, pleated trim, lacy, scalloped. <laughs> I thought of all of the different types of trims that I could put around that skirt. None of them sounded right to me. Suddenly, ding, <laughs> fur. Fur came into mind and I started thinking about 60s dresses that used to have the fur around the bottom, around the neck, and around the cuff. And I thought, that's what I need. I need fur around the base of the skirt. That is what it needs. Only problem is, this sounds more like a winter project, like something I would make in the winter time. But alas, she is making it because that's what it needs, not because of the season that we're currently in. I'll have something to look forward to. <laughs> I can look forward to wearing this when it gets colder out. Oh my gosh, what a cute Christmas dress this would be. Oh my God, I can't believe I just said that word. I see a lot of people are doing Halloween picnics right now. I'm into it. I don't even think I should bother with thrift stores because I definitely know they're not going to have anything fur out right now. Around here, our thrift stores are very seasonally stocked. So we're going to hit up the fabric store. And then while I'm out there, I, there's a bakery I've been meaning to visit. It's called Bon Bon Bakery. And I want to check it out. I'm going to go get dressed. I'm going to get ready. And then we're going to go. This is going to be so fun. I'm so excited. Look at what just freaking happened. Today is an anxiety day already as it is. If you're new here, 
<laughs> I was diagnosed with agoraphobia uh, earlier on in the year and have been in therapy working through it and it's really been helping and I feel like I'm not gonna say that I'm cured I'm always gonna have anxiety and always have these little triggers but the way that I handle them and I'm dealing with them and getting over them is different from how it was when I had no tools or no help with that said there's days where um as an agoraphobic I don't want to leave my home especially because I'm feeling heightened anxiety and today is heightened anxiety day I just was trying to put this on and it fell behind the jewelry stand thing where I was and so I had to like get down to pick it up and I think when I did that I put like extra strain on the purse because when I by the time I got downstairs the strap came completely detached from the bag because I would put too much stuff in it that was too heavy for the purse and it broke it's just making me feel like something's trying to keep me home and when i start seeing all these signs on an anxiety day it's like you don't have to tell me to stay home because i will <laughs> but i have things i want to do so on days like today if you're already somebody who experiences pulls to stay home and you are trying to make yourself get out and go do things you start to look at this as like is this a sign is this a sign to stay home is going out ignoring the signs I can't live my life worried about an invisible scenario and that's what is really hard when you're somebody who experiences any sort of anxiousness, panic disorder, and then anxiety on top of that with this, this like agoraphobic thing. And so it's, I have to make myself go, go do these things so that I feel human. <laughs> And I'm just really sad about my purse. This is the purse that matches my cowboy boots. And now I don't have a purse that matches my cowboy boots, which means instead of getting this repaired because of the cost of what it cost me to fix my Louis Vuitton bag, I wouldn't bother repairing this. And I'm the upcycle queen, you guys. And even this is like too much for me. Now I have to shop for another purse because I have to have a purse that matches these boots because I wear these boots like all the time. How come in your mind you can only predict negative scenarios if you're so psychic? If you're like, oh, I know something bad is gonna happen. This is a sign that the universe is trying to slow me down from leaving my house. This is something I saw on a reel. When, when you f have things happen and you have to go change your shirt or something broke or whatever, that's like one of your angels looking out for you telling you to stay home for a little bit longer before you leave because maybe something would have happened if you had left at the time that you were planning originally and it's just a way to look at any situation without having like this like oh, why me mentality but for me I already experience these issues with staying home <laughs> so if I listened to every single time all of my nerves were saying stay home I would genuinely never leave my house and that's what I'm battling right now and I need to leave my house I want to go to this bakery we're gonna do it we're gonna leave we're gonna go do it just know though that everything in my fiber of being is telling me not to oh I hate it okay so check out where I am it's cool. The Wuhan Market. You guys, I can't wait to show you what I got. I'm probably gonna show you at the house because I want to get out of here. Oh. This place is so cool. I love trying new things. Let's go. We're gonna head to the uh, fabric store now. Look. <laughs> so I got one for me and one for Lyle. For myself, it's like a mini miniature version of that. And instead of a donut, it's like this kind of puffed pastry. What would this be comparable to? Hmm. Kind of like an angel food cake. And then, but it still has the powdered sugar on top and then the purple in the middle. I need to take this gloss off. I honestly don't think I can ever be a mukbang or if like a food influencer type because some people don't look weird when they eat and I feel like I look weird when I eat but that could just be me looking at myself eating and being like Ugh, look how good that bread looks. 
So I'll try this tomorrow morning, maybe with some eggs on it. It didn't have any particular name to it. It just said bread. I like how also the pastries were all mixed in savory and sweet. So you can get like a veggie pastry or you can get a fruity pastry. So cheesy stuff, there's like cheese puffs, all sorts of different things that I just, you don't know what it is. <laughs> you don't know what it is until you try it. So I definitely will be going back to try different things. And everything in that entire strip mall was all Asian brands and businesses. So I just love to be supportive of anything I can in the area. So I want to make sure I'm spreading my wings and trying small businesses all throughout to Pacific Northwest in general. So you'll see that when I travel, I usually just pick coffee shops that are local. I prefer not to go to any of the chains because I want to be supportive of the economy of the area that I'm visiting. And you pump more money into your local economy when you're shopping local because it goes to people who own homes in that area as opposed to corporate businesses that don't even live there. So that's just kind of where my mind's at is like keep the circulation of funds going within the community. So that's, that's my take. If I'm desperate, I'll go to a chain if I'm desperate. So I have, you know, obviously gotten Starbucks before. And the irony is that I live where Starbucks originated, but it doesn't count. There's so many influencers and all they do is get Starbucks. And it's like, even as a Seattleite, God, you're missing out on so many amazing local businesses. That's my little pedestal I had to step up on. <laughs> to talk about because I love supporting locally as much as possible as I said and um, I'm really stoked to try Bon Bon Bakery's amazing air puff donuts. I first thought I was going to be buying just fur and that I was going to have to make some sort of maybe felt or something to make it like a band around the bottom that was like thick enough because I knew that just the fabric itself wasn't gonna work but we have trim that was already furry just attaching that to the bottom of the dress. It's gonna look so Christmas. What else did I buy? I also bought this and this is two yards, 40% off. And this is just like, what is that called? Brick brack, brick a brick, brick a brack, brick a brack. Would that look cute? Cute on the bottom. If I were to line the base with the fur, I actually think it's cute. It's giving Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's giving Christmas big time, but I don't care because it looks right. And that's what I think this dress needs. I'll just look forward to this during Christmas. I'll have something to wear to my first event. trim is on. So far so good. Isn't that so darling? <gasps> you guys, I love this. I do. I love it. This is so much better and I would totally wear this in December. <laughs> but I need to make the belt now. This is just the tie wrapped around the waist so I can get a visual. I feel like that always helps. Gotta get that visual. I did was sew it inside out so that I can pull it through and then I did a little bit of an angle cut at the bottom and I sewed that shut as well and just went back and forth over it to make sure to secure the seam ends and you can't even tell so that's great let's go try this on with the dress it's like a little snow dress that is adorable that is absolutely adorable I really think less is more with this I didn't want to add too much of the trim I just need to go around and cut some of the excess like fur that's making it look a little lopsided but otherwise it's mega mega cute like this is exactly what it needed was that fur trim and the little belt but I think I'm just gonna leave the rest of it alone I think simple is better I'm gonna get to cleaning up this room and I'll see you guys when I see ya Good morning! Check it out! We have light! 
It's amazing! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> we have light up here. So this room is properly lit when I talk to you. It's not all dark. My last reel that I posted. Ugh, it's so dark behind me. I tried lighting it with little dinky lights that I have and it just, it's not the same as two overhead can lights. So stoked. And it's on a dimmer. I love it. He actually didn't even tell me that he did it. I was out in the backyard all day yesterday pulling weeds and vines, cutting down branches to a dead tree, clearing the path for our banana palm to come in because I could see it's trying and there was just stuff all over it. So I pulled all that, I pulled out my back, <laughs> pretty sure. I was like, oh, like I couldn't get up off the couch last night, but it feels very good to get a better part of it done. I still have a huge section I have to clear out, but, and the pile, oh, the pile. I have a pile of dead vines and branches that I'm gonna have to um, let just kind of shrivel up a little bit and wilt so that I can bag it up and then take it. But I at least have it to a point where I can enjoy it if I make my Zen Den the way I want my Zen Den to be. My Zen Den is our carport. Every summer, I usually will lay down a rug or a blanket or something. And that is where I predominantly lay and relax in the evenings because the sun is setting, it's cooling off. I can get a book. I can like put my feet in the grass and ground myself. I can be outside and listen to music. And it is just where I live in the summer. When guests come, that's where we take them. We go sit out there and hang out and have food. That is like the ideal place for me in our entire abode, <laughs> the Zen Den in summer. So, and then sometimes my like blow up pool is out there too. And I'll go back and forth between laying in the hammock and reading and then getting into my little pool. So it's just, it's what, it's the little things that make me happy. Um, and I want to really, I want to really give it some love this year. I haven't really done that. I've just done the bare minimum because we've always talked about getting furniture out there and talked about redoing it and making it nice. And then like a year goes by and another year goes by. So at this point, I'm just going to use what we have and I'll show you everything. I'll show you the before. It's still in winter mode, basically, where it has just been where we've had a car parked. Now the car has been moved. I want to sweep it and clean it. And I have all these ideas for decorating it. But in order to decorate it the way that I really want to, I have to give myself something exciting to reward myself with. And you know what that means. I want to go thrifting. I want to go thrifting and see if I can find maybe a new citronella candle holder, holder, maybe something outdoor decorative that will look cool out there. I'm going for a boho vibe. I want it to be pretty like, yeah, boho. It's going to be boho. I want to get a new hammock. I have a blue one right now that I really love, but it's just not going to match. So I want to get a more boho looking hammock, you know, like the ones that are just off white color with things dangling from them and just super cute, makes you feel like a goddess. I want that so I can read out there in my hammock, but I need to order it. So I don't have that for today. I'll have to show that to you when I get it. But anyway, um, so we're gonna go thrifting. And then also I was thinking if we're gonna be already at the thrift store and I have a 20% off coupon, I might get myself a new little boho dress to get some photos in my new boho Zen Den. And if I say boho one more time, <laughs> but that's the plan. So today we're going to do a Zen Den makeover. I'm so stoked and I'm going to spend the evening just chilling out there. I have to go pick up groceries at 2 p.m. So we better get going. Oh, I did want to show you something though while I was up here. Something that came this week. So I ordered stands that you would normally use for baseball cards and they were the perfect size for my compacts. I have three empty and that just means I need three more compacts at least and I can also put some up here. But I got a, a bunch of these stands. It came in a pack of 20. Now I have a perfect way to display my compacts and then this is gonna be where I'm going to display collectible lipsticks. So I really like to get some vintage lipstick. And somebody did comment when I um, posted the reel or the short on YouTube of showing this that I had purchased, um, said, you know, be careful using the makeup. Just know that I'm not going to be, I don't plan on ever putting any of that makeup on. It's just, it's purely for me to enjoy as a collectible. I'm loving the look of it. I'm loving the look of it. It's so cute. Just so I can show you what happened. So it goes on and off that way. And then it dims this way. And then I can point them 
in any which way. And it's so nice too because for the longest time the switch for up here was downstairs so if I came up and forgot to hit the switch then I would be like oh I gotta go back downstairs and turn on the light. It's coming together like with the pieces that I've recently got my statue that Marcy gave me. Thank you so much Marcy. I'm gonna get a light. I just need to shop for what kind of light I want in there and then yeah all of my collectibles and stuff are like looking good on their displays and <sighs> she's a happy thrifter. <laughs> Here is today's outfit. I'm wearing some very oversized men's dad jeans with some red just slip-on mules. They're like slip-ons like that. I really like these. A shirt my husband gave me that he won at work and was like this doesn't fit me and I love these types of shirts. They're just really comfortable and bright red is one of my favorites. I like my makeup today though. It's very soft been into powdering a lot. All right, we're at Value Village and I have my stuff to donate so I can get 20% off of whatever I purchase. Let's go thrifting. I perused the dresses and I gotta say, I found something I think is gonna go perfect. So hang tight for that one. I didn't need any indoor furniture, but I just wanted to point out that somebody got this coffee table for $4.95 and it's beautiful. Also, look at this thing. I've always wanted one of these. I don't know where I would put it, but I love it. And this chair, honorable mention, super cute, don't need it. And then I found it, the perfect shelf to put outside. All right, it was a little bit of a gamble grabbing this dress as my makeover dress. I'm having a red day, if you can't tell. I told you, I shop in themes. I, I don't realize that whatever I put on that day is the color I'm feeling that day, and that's what I usually end up shopping for. So even I should know that I'm gonna grab for red, but it's not intentional, it's really not. <laughs> I grabbed a red dress, and it's the exact color of the shirt that I have on. I really hope that this fits. Look at this dress, it's so old school nightgown. I don't know. I think this is gonna be a really, really fun upcycle. I definitely wanna upcycle it. Look at the adorable sleeves. And the thing I love about these types of dresses that are kind of like 60s, 70s, or just like vintage looking, and I think it is vintage. It is a R. Michael Allen. It was $4.50 and I had a 20% coupon. And so for everything, it was like 15 bucks for everything that I got. I was too lazy to take off my jeans, so I just put it on over top. Look how cute! I really like it. Actually, I like it with these shoes. So what I'll do for the photo is probably harness it and skirt hike it so it's a shape I like because otherwise I just feel really frumpy. But I will definitely be upcycling this dress. It's so cute. Four freaking dollars. Okay, let me show you what else I got. So I'm going to be taking the furniture that we actually have on our front porch and putting it out back. And so I wanted some new pillows to put on the chairs and these both are like an outdoor material and they're brand new, which is lovely. And they're a matching set and they were $3.50. So again, with my 20% off coupon, I got both pillows for under six bucks. And pillows are expensive, as we all know. And I love the detail on the sides of them. And I think this will be good because it is gonna be boho, but boho to me doesn't always mean no color. To me, when I think of boho, I think of natural fibers, fabrics, cottons, tweeds, those types of things that are more neutral toned. And then you can decorate with pops of color and accents. Most of the basis, basis of everything, if it's gonna be a boho, is very whimsical. Okay, here is a before of this space. So we have a bunch of pots that I got out of the bottom of this thing. I don't want them there anymore. I want that to just be either empty or maybe do a second layer of gardening opportunities for herbs. I usually like to put herbs in there. This is the grill that we can move in all this wood here for my husband's many projects. Definitely can go somewhere else. I need to sweep. And there it is. It's just a really sturdy piece of wood. Basically just <laughs> a regular ass shelf, but $4.99 and it was 20% off.
much more than we've been told Way beyond what we can hold So keep your eyes open For the things that really matter Oh, we have to give it one more try Now that the idiots are taking on Well, I just saw a spider the size of a house cat. One thing I love about Washington State and just the Pacific Northwest in general is that we don't typically get a lot of spiders, critters, bugs, fleas, mosquitoes. We don't really get that here, which is one of the things I love about it. But sometimes, from time to time, you will come across one of those like house spiders they're called or wolf spiders and uh, they get to be pretty big. It was like watching a hand walking across the gravel over there. So I'm avoiding that area right now. I am done with the space for now. And I'll talk you through some of the little things that I want to eventually change. And I'm sure I'll be adding and taking away things all throughout uh, the summer months as I thrift and find more stuff. Ignore the wood. I don't know what to do with it. And when I moved the wood, that's where the spider came from. So I don't want to move any more wood. This furniture actually was on our front porch and we never go out there because the dogs cry and hate being separated from us. So we can't peacefully sit out front and we've tried it. We've tried it a couple of times. Here we're able to enjoy the set that we bought that we've sat in maybe twice. And now we're actually going to be able to enjoy it. We've got the new pillows, which look adorable. I can't believe I scored those for under four bucks a piece. I have a fake plant out here for now, just because this area gets a lot of sun. So I'm gonna need to find something to put in there, like a cactus or something. This looks great. I actually really like that I painted it the same color as the house. I think that makes sense. It kind of blends in. For now, I just have a few things I put on it. I wanna do some plants maybe, but yeah. And then this is actually really cool. We got it for Christmas and we've been waiting to use it. It's like a little outdoor fire pit. You can roast marshmallows on it, but it's pretty cool. And uh, it's got this glass to just protect flames. And then this is the tamper. Like that just puts it out right there. I did realize that bringing candles out here means they can melt. So hopefully they're out of the sun and won't melt on the shelf. And then at night, if I wanna light them and set them, you know, here, I could do that. The hammock, I do intend on getting a boho one that kind of matches out here a little bit, but this hammock is great. I've had it forever. My friend Taya gave it to me. This was a gift from her a long time ago, so it's really handy. Um, definitely something I'll have forever, and it's just nice because it always makes me think of her, and I'm stoked. I am done with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun putting that together. Oh my god, I'm in heaven. I can't wait to sit out there and read and have lunch and breakfast and coffee and it's just gonna be so good. I'm gonna end it here so I can go enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It gives me a little reassurance that I'm on the right track with these videos. Uh, subscribe if you're not, that would be great. And I'll see you guys on the next one, whatever it is. Bye. Thank you.